the OHSAA named a new executive director earlier this week, and we welcome in Doug Yu, the new executive director of the OHSAA, and Doug was uh, the superintendent for Newark City Schools the last 11 years. Doug, thanks very much. Appreciate the time. What was appealing um, about becoming the new executive director of the OHSAA for you? Yeah, well, I, I appreciate the opportunity to be on, Dave, so thank you very much for that. So, you know, the, the feeling for me is, you know, when I look at my background as, I, you know, I've, I've been in education for over uh, 30 years and, and uh, been a teacher and coach, athletic director, high school principal, superintendent, and, and also been associated with a central district athletic board, you know, for over a decade. Uh, now and so I've, I've had some involvement that way, but uh, you know, passion for delivering programs for students, and I just couldn't be happier and and, and more thankful that the the board of directors have given me this opportunity. Now, um, challenges face every organization now with uh, what has gone on the last several months with the with the pandemic. What about some of the challenges that? Uh, the organization you're taking over, the OHSAA, is facing, and and some of the things that um, that are concerning you as far as as where you're at as an organization. Yeah, the, the first challenge that we want to do is we just want to remain competing. We want our student athletes to have the opportunity to compete, uh, which we're very thankful for this fall. And so we want to make sure that uh, they continue to compete. And and so along that those lines, I mean we want to com compete in a safe environment. And so, you know, we have an observer program out there right now for football, and we're really doing our best to educate uh, and work with our member schools so that that safe environment exists and it's not a place to spread the virus and those type of things so our, our student athletes can continue to compete. That's a big challenge for us. And another challenge, you know, the financial aspects of this, when, when over 80% of your uh, revenue is generated from gate receipts um, at tournaments, um, obviously, we can't operate that way anymore uh, in today's world that way. So, you know, we have some financial challenges to, to you know, uh, have our expenses match our revenues. And, and so we're working very hard at, at doing some of those things. Um, how much of it is driven by the fact that you're trying to give high school kids uh, the ability to do things they dream of? I mean, is that kind of the mission of what you're trying to do? Um, every kid that plays sports dreams of you know the varsity level and there's kids that are you know you you have to find a way to make that happen for an entire class of kids now is is that kind of something that keeps you going yeah absolutely uh you know uh, you know I, I you mentioned that i was superintendent at newark well you know i know last march uh, we saw our our girls basketball team win a, a regional title on a friday night and then the next week uh, not be able to compete in the state basketball tournament. So I've seen the impact of that it has on, on uh, students that way and then not having sports in the spring. I've, I've witnessed the impact of our, our students who participated in spring sports not, not given that opportunity. And so, you know, and, and to be very honest with you, I, I just remember in June when, when they were able to come back on the school grounds and, and be around their peers and their coaches and and uh, either competing or working out, uh, getting back around uh, something that they, they love. Uh, from a mental health standpoint, it's very important uh, that, that we allow our youth uh, in today's world to, to be in those type of situations. And so that's that driving force behind we need to keep competing this fall. And to do so, we need to work with the governor's office, Department of Health, and follow the guidelines. And so we're working with our schools on educating, uh, you know, each other on on how to run a safe uh, athletic event so that our kids can keep competing. You mentioned a, a longtime superintendent. How important um, is athletics to that piece of education um, from where you come from, and and what makes it so important? Yeah, you know, um, I had my high school 40th reunion this summer. I, but it's been that's been a long time, uh, but I still remember what it what it's like to participate in in sports when you're in high school and and so for me, you know, just that development of a, a child and and uh, how important that uh, those events are. And so as a superintendent, I recognize not just sports but extracurricular activities, life after three o'clock, and what a band program or a drama program or 
those type of things, after school programs as on uh, our students is, is tremendous. And, and uh, so, you know, as a superintendent, I really realize that and, and uh, we'll carry that forward in this position here. Um, what about a message to folks around the state that, um, that care about high school sports? What do you want them to know uh, about Doug Ute, the new executive director of the OHSAA? Well, then, um, uh, student focused uh, first. You know, every decision that we've made or I've made in the past is is based around students and and uh, getting to know uh, our students and what programs and uh, that that can really enhance uh, uh, their lifestyle and 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 promote uh, you know life after high school. Those those type of things are are very important to me, and uh, particularly the social and emotional aspect of of their lives and and their families' lives. And, and so uh, those things are, are very important to me. And so uh, I, would, I would tell you I'm uh, a student first and I've joined an organization that believes in that. And so uh, I'm really excited about that. Um, what about, is there anything that you've gone through in your professional career that could prepare you for what you've gone through education wise the last eight, nine months and for what lies ahead trying to get things back to quote unquote normal. Yeah, well, first of all, nobody saw this virus coming on, but uh, the things that have prepared me to handle this is, is just remain calm and, and, and know that, you know, know that, you know, it's gonna be a roller coaster, there's gonna be ups and downs going through uh, this type of situation here. And, and uh, you know, and, and hopefully there's a light at the end of the tunnel and, and uh, you know we just need safety is our number one concern with with our students and, and and our student athletes, our coaches, our officials, and and our families. You know that, that go to games and and so just keep everyone safe and and uh, work with the governor's office and, and the Department of Health and uh, with their guidelines and and see how we can fit events into uh, those guidelines and and uh, keep the kids participating. And there's plenty of studies that out there to show that an engaged student is, is, is a, a student who will achieve at a higher rate. And, and so we want to keep our students engaged in, in these type of activities. Doug Ute, new executive director of the Ohio, Athletic Asso Ohio High School Athletic Association. As always, appreciate the time. Best of luck. You're always welcome on the show. And uh, again, appreciate the time, Doug. All right. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.